Welcome, Reading 3. I am so excited to do this reading for you. I have just been downloading so much stuff. You guys are amazing. You are the magical mystics. I mean, honestly, you are amazing. And I am just going to say this right out the gate. If you have been thinking about starting your own channel, doing readings, or if you've been thinking about doing readings for other people, or if you feel like you're called to be a channel of some kind to the people, this is your green light go. Some of you are living in the red light stop, and this is your green light go. It's time. You, you don't... Let's put it this way. I'm like, I'm putting your thing together. It was totally different from reading one and reading two. Like reading one and reading two were like, so it was interesting because reading one and if you were drawn to reading one, you may want to go there, but it was interesting because reading one was drawn to come here. So I don't know if you're meant to go there. We'll see how it goes. If you were, you know, we'll see. But um, I'm just getting so many downloads right now. It's so awesome. Um, but it's a lot of times with you guys, it's like you'll be drawn to just one. Or you'll be drawn to like two and sometimes you're drawn to all three so there are no rules it's different you know for everybody but you know we're a really small tribe you know i don't have hundreds of thousands of followers you know it's like i'm just i'm here just to do what i was meant to do i mean i'm having so many epiphanies and so many breakthroughs and i am ex excited to share this with you because Whenever we do these kind of generic messages from spirit, I think they're so integral to where we are in our growth process. And I always have aha moments during these. So I hope you have some as well, because um, I just, I felt your mystical energy and I had the music on as I was building your altar and I just liked the song and I looked down at it and I was like, oh, cute. I'm like dream star. And I was like, whatever, you know, like in my head, you know, I'm like, I'm not, you know, I didn't say anything out loud. I'm just like doing my thing. And then like the next song comes on and I'm like, I was like, oh, I like that song too. And it's called Star Dreams <laughs> or it's like one or the other. I don't know. I took a screenshot of it. I will put it in the community section for you. I highly suggest you check out the meditation music to it because I feel like I was drawn to it for a reason. Um, but yeah, it was really wild. So I ended up taking a screenshot of the one before it and the one playing the way Pandora is like, you know, it's like, I don't know if all things are like this, but it shows like the picture is of the first song. And then like the, on the bottom is the song that's running. And that's why I was like, I didn't even notice it until they told me to take a screenshot. And then I looked down and I was like, Oh my gosh. I'm like, I did not put that together. That it's star dreams, dream star. I was like, what is happening? And then the, the third one was, um, called, uh, trust and resting place. And that's what I realized, like for you guys, like your, your biggest obstacle right now is trust. And spirit is here for you. Listen, my wind chime is going, you know, it's not even that windy. And the other day it was really windy and it was barely going. And I was like, what is happening? And I just retrieved it, by the way. It was like up, a, up away from us. And I was like, wait a second, I want my wind chime. And I swear it's like my wingman. I was on, on the phone with one of our other tribe members. And I, I said, I forgot how much my wind chime was my wingman for real, because if you've been watching and following me for years, you know, only in this last year, I didn't have it going, you know, and, um, there's all these things, but I'm having all these aha moments and all these truth moments. And I am here to tell you that trust is the one thing that will absolutely set you free. And I had this moment when I was doing the dishes and I started to get away from myself and my little brain started to go off into her little world and past stuff and trying to control things, trying to, you know, use my gifts to see past, you know, where I'm supposed to see, um, you know, and then all of a sudden something just like took over in me and I just said, you know what? I don't need to think about that. Spirits got my back. I know they got my back and it's all good. And I meant it and I realized I meant it and I like kind of cried a little bit because I was like, oh, I'm like I just grew up like I felt, you know what I mean? Like I felt like I had this moment of like clarity. And when I say grow up, like that moment of clarity where 
the third dimensional energy that I thought I was entrapped in was no longer ruling my life. And I knew it in that second. And it was because I didn't trust. And on the full moon in Sagittarius, I'm a triple Sag, my husband's moon is in Sag. It was the first time in a really long time that I did a real, real ritual. You know, got out the cauldron, wrote down my releases and burned them in the cauldron as the moon was rising at exactly at the, you know, apex, right? Is that what they call it, right? The, it's exactly like the most powerful, the brightest in that moment the, it was rising above the trees and it was magical. And I wrote down my wishes as well. And my husband did the same thing. And I am not kidding you. I, I, I'm, I feel it. I really gave it away and I, and I've been having it needles. It's needling back in. Don't get me wrong. I'm not like I'm healed. You know what I mean? It's like, but when it does now, it's different. I'm not holding it accountable. I'm holding me accountable to whether I want to ride with that emotion or I want to let it go past me because it doesn't hold me anymore. It's not a trigger anymore because I trust that I'm done with that lesson and things are going to come up. Things are going to happen. We cannot control anything anything really. And the more we try to control ourselves and others, the less we really, you know, thrive. It's like we're depleting that powerful energy inside of us. We're depleting it by saying to spirit, I don't trust you. Drink some water. And if you don't have water, go and get some. Pause it. Some healthy drinking water, maybe a hot beverage. Sure, somebody's like, "Oh, I have my tea. Is that okay?" It's like, yeah, but I mean, they're saying water. Just you know, don't forget to drink water. You don't have to drink, you know, gallons and gallons. I did that for years because I thought that's what I was supposed to do, and then I realized, yeah, it makes sense. Like now, I just really drink when I'm thirsty. I drink when I feel it's necessary, and that's all I drink is water and tea, pretty much. So, um, but cleaning our bodies out makes a big difference too. Spirit wanted me to say that, um, you know, for those of you who've been wanting to try something new, maybe it's walking, maybe it's, you know, you want to try Pilates or yoga or something. They're saying do it. Um, they're saying it's time for all of us to get athletic and get into our physical body, but only when it feels good. If you like to roller skate, go roller skate. If you like to go picking berries, go pick berries. You know what I mean? Like whatever it is that feels good to you. We have Northern and Southern Hemisphere in this tribe. So some of you are, you know, you're at the beginning um, or the end of spring, beginning of summer. And some of you, you're at the end of fall, beginning of winter. You know, some were plant, we've, you know, been planting and we're excited for harvest. Some of us are, are we've planted our seeds and harvest is here. So I feel like for uh, some of this reading, for some of the tribe in this reading, 810 and then it was 811, um, some of us are almost there. But a year from now, your life is going to look so different, you won't even believe it. And for some of us, it's happening in like the next few days, the next few weeks. Definitely by Leo season, I feel like uh, it's just, it's going to be a whole new world for, <laughs> a whole new world, right? For like a lot of us. So also they had me bring that full moon in to show you that, right? Like, um, did, you know, whatever you did over the full moon in Sagittarius, I feel like it's coming to you. And it's coming to you, some of you, it's going to come very quickly. And some of you, it may take another six months um, to when, you know, it'll be the full moon in Gemini, right? Instead, it'll be like the opposite, right? So um, it's about planting the seeds. I'm, I'm, I know, I feel like I'm, I feel so different. My energy feels so different in this reading with you guys. And I love it so much because I know that that's like part of like who we are. Like I'm connected to you guys and spirit always like, like drives my cannabis, like my medicine. Like when I'm doing different readings for different people, they bring me to these really cool energies. Um, not that I couldn't go there on my own. It's just that, you know, there's a reading reason why you're drawn to this reading, right? And so many of you are so powerful. So it's almost like they put my body 
the cannabis puts my body in almost like this, like where I can be on a roller coaster, but not be like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. And then be like, ha ha ha, that was awesome. Holy shit. You know what I mean? Instead, I'm just like, hey, whatever, you know, because I'm feeling your darkness too. You know, like I'm feeling the heaviness. You know, we haven't even flipped your card over and we're uh, almost 10 minutes in. So this is the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle card. But even though this is about love, <coughs> whoa, what's happening? Even though these cards may have love on them, use your throat chakra. What's wrong? Are you allergic to love? Oh, when I looked down, it was 1013. So some, for some of you guys, October 13th is going to be really powerful. And I'm almost positive, but I think it's a Friday this year. I'm going to look it up because um, I just saw September... Uh, so I was like, let me see. Yes. Oh my gosh. So for some of you, there's some magic, like, like a straight up magic. And I'm saying like, I would say three quarters of you. And I would say even further to say all of you, if you keep going in the pace that you're going to, we're going to read more from spirit about that. Um, but if you keep going, if you take what you, you know, learn here today, if you take your own advice, cause this is your higher self and your guides, right? I'm just the facilitator. If you take this advice from your guides, they're saying by October 13th, 2023, Freya the 13th, it'll be in the waning crescent too, which is really exciting because you know what? The very next day on the 14th is the new moon in Libra. I'd be curious to find out what time. I don't have that in front of me now, but I'd be curious to know what time the new moon comes in. That's going to be a really, it's like, you know, what's interesting too is on my calendar, I can see waning crescent, but um, I saw crescendo. So I feel like for some of you, it's almost like everything, like from this moment forward, you're, you're like, that's it. I am going to do what they tell me because I'm done with this shit or I'm done with this, blah, 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 or I want this and I don't want to wait anymore at 1138. Um, you know, where you're like, this is, this is my time and I'm not going to wait. Oh, that's also the number 13. Holy shit. Yeah. Spirit. Oh my gosh. Right. And, you know, and working with the goddess energy, cause I feel like for some of you, um, I know it's in black and white, but this is actually in red, green, black, and that's orange. But I feel like for some of you, this crescent, this waning crescent moon, this crescendo energy is going to bring in something really magical beyond your belief too, like something where you're like something you've been praying for hoping for but you're like I just I mean I knew this was going to be good but like I had no idea it was going to be like this um it's going to be different for all of you also I didn't notice this till now the way they had me draw the hearts I feel like this little heart looks like a crown and um the throat chakra once you start speaking your truth that's going to start opening your heart chakra. And I'm just feeling like this very openness. I'm also feeling like whether you're in Northern or Southern hemisphere, summer, warm out, whatever, I'm feeling like to wear some like open chest, you know, whether you're, whatever you align with masculine, feminine, divine, feminine, divine, masculine, man, woman, whatever, whatever you align with. But I'm just feeling this opening of like wearing your shirts a little bit lower cut this summer, feeling your sexuality, like getting back into that energy of the goddess, because 13 is the number of the goddess. And Friday the 13th with Freya, who is connected with Venus and love and all of these things, there's going to be this crescendo of a break in our energy when we go into the new moon in Libra. And it's going to be really, really, really powerful. So keep this on your calendar. Even spirit said, you know, when you're going on vacation and you have this shit fucking job and you really hate it. And I'm, I'm speaking from my own personal experience, but you've got things planned. There's things you want to do. And, you know, it's like every day you want to quit this job or you want to quit this or you want to break up with this person, or whatever. But, you know, like you got this thing and it's out there and it's just like waiting. Right. And you're like, I really want to get to this thing. Spirit saying, treat it like that, you know, because sometimes, yeah, you should just walk away from a job and a toxic job and a toxic person like that. Of course, wait till you see your card, by the way, because I did see it and it's going to be so apropos in a minute. Uh, right. But at the same time, sometimes we have to stay where we are because, you know, it's like, you know, that old, that old saying, I know it sounds gross, but it's too true where they say you don't shit where you eat. Yes, Absolutely. Absolutely. Why is that? Because if you're making a beautiful meal for people and the bathroom is right next to the kitchen and the place where you're feeding people, do you want them to smell poop or do you want them to smell your delicious food you're making? 
it sounds really, you know, bizarre, right? Because it's, oh, that's a hair. I'm like, what? I've been seeing something floating in front of there, right? But it's true. It's like, what is it that is, you know, it's like you don't shit where you eat. So did you fuck around with your boss and now you hate your job because you have to see them all the time and it was just like a one-night stand, you know what I mean? is <laughs> isn't something like that, you know, but I'm feeling like sometimes you have to stay at that job because you screwed it up. <laughs> Or maybe it's a really good job, but it's not right for you. And you knew when you took it, you know, um, recently had a great conversation with one of our tribe members and they just had this really great story about something that had happened with this job. And it was like their dream job or whatever. And then like, they just got this vibe. It wasn't right. And then all of a sudden, all, all of these things appeared, all of these signs. And then they were like, oh my gosh. And then they found out. And it was this person they used to work with a long time ago in their field, you know, blah, blah, blah. Cause you know, there's only so many in their high up in their field kind of thing. Right. So, um, they're like, no, I'm not working for that person. Like, I'm not going to do that. They're like, sometimes it is too good to be true. So if you put yourself there, it could be astrologically until the next rotation for something good to come in isn't there yet. So you got to fucking stick it out. So whatever is happening between now and October 13th, you may have to stick it out. However, you can also change it. You can plant the seeds now so that by the time it gets to that, oh my gosh, you won't even, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I waited. I'm so glad, you know, blah, blah, blah. It was worth it, you know? And then you know what you do? You just kind of lump it. We've all had that boss, that parent, that person, that partner, that, that, you know, whatever at that time where, you know, everybody's acting from their own level of consciousness and they're being not so nice, right? They're being kind of shitty, 1633. And, you know, they're like, and you're like, why are they so mean? Why are they so mean? Why are they like that? Well, they're just mirroring something back to you and it's a trigger. So if you're there and you feel quote unquote stuck there, if you're convincing yourself that you're stuck somewhere, that you can't leave, that you can't go to this vacation, that you can't go to this island time wellness, Think about how you're saying it. How are you talking? What's your languaging? I have found it lately that even when I'm excited about something, I'll go, I can't wait. And it's like, no, no, no. And then um, I was like, you know, reminded by Jesus actually uh, to be mindful of my words and how much power they have and not to um, put in negative things like that. Right. Instead, it's I'm so excited for this or that. Right. I'm so excited. Um, I trust your your time spirit. I trust all this. Thank you, spirit. You know what I mean? Like and, and putting it out there and really, really meaning it, you know, that trust 1735. And I know it's hard. So here is your card. You told me as the fairy flew by. And look at this cool little thing happening. There's like a, I think there's a little spider web hanging up over there somewhere. And it's given like a cool reflection. Okay. So boat. Remember I just said, <laughs> I was picturing the boat sailing away from that when I was saying that to you guys. I was like, so it says receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on and closure issues. Okay. So let's move this over here. I feel like there's another card for you guys too. We did um, pull some other cards. Spirit, do you have any other cards that you want to pull with this one? Yeah, I feel, oh, yeah. So if you were pulled to reading one, sunglasses. If you were pulled to reading one, you might want to go check it out. So my camera has been doing this fun thing again where it's like been sticking, but that's okay. It's spirit. I know that's what they want. So, okay. So sunglasses, see, I'm like, Rrr. sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. Okay. Interesting too, that we have sunglasses and, oh, they want it like that. Oh, did you see the fairy fly through? Hmm. Drink some more water. Okay, so interesting how the flame is going over the other words. So the keywords they want us to focus on, looking, stalking, and perception. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. So for some of you, also, I keep seeing, I know that this says out down here, focusing out, but I keep seeing the word owl. So I, and also with the moon there and the trees, I feel like uh, you're meant to work with the owl spirit medicine. And for some of you, it's not a tongue lashing, but it's definitely like from spirit where they're like, um, 
you've kind of gone off your path. So you need to, if, if you felt that, or you've always been drawn to owls, or you know that owls have been with you through this practice, I'm getting from spirit like, yeah, you, it's time. You need to work with the owl again, because the owl is absolutely one of your spirit animals and one of your spirit guides that looks out for you. I don't know if they want me to do this or not. I feel like they want me to pull this out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, and I'm feeling like nature for some of you guys. Like they're showing the trees and the branches up there. Um, getting back in touch with yourself. Like your true self. Not this like faux version. Also, see how like when I move the lighting, how the picture changes. Do you see that? How powerful that is. Oh my gosh, I just got the chills. So they're trying to show you that sometimes you just need to change your scenery so you can see something through a different lens, through a different scope. For the next three days, it's not a big task, but your mission, should you choose to accept it? For the next three days, Spirit wants you to watch and just be the observer in everything. Of course, you're going to participate. And you're going to, you know, um, if you have the luxury of not having to speak or go anywhere and like you just like watch and observe online or you watch and observe maybe you um, take a walk down to your local you know town and you just want to watch people all day but I just get this vibe that spirit wants you to start really watching people you know watch your co-workers watch your family and your friends just be the observer no judgment no judgment just observing you may have moments where Sometimes when I get lost in observing people, I'll be like, whoa, wow, they just said that for real. Like, you know, and then I realize like how much that we filter out that we're just like, oh, that's just them or oh, it's just the way it is or blah, 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 blah. And they just don't want that anymore. They just don't want us to just say this or just say that. They want us to be a little more deliberate with our words, with our actions, with our thoughts. To trust in them, to trust that like they do have our back. And in this small circle of people who are on this channel, you know, um, I was convinced that I needed to have hundreds of thousands of followers and millions of followers. I was convinced that I needed to have that to make me feel something or to feel some sort of accomplishment. Or I thought, this is how I'm going to make money. I'm going to be a YouTuber. I'm just going to do readings, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I started to realize in the last year or so that I was put here to help warriors, like real hardcore, talented, gifted, gorgeous warriors. And you are one of them. I'm just here to, to connect you to yourself. These are messages from yourself. But see how it's kind of like whited out now? It's not as, you know, it's not as clear. It's a little fuzzy focusing out. It's because you're just kind of, I feel like you're just like going through the motions of things, but you're like, it's like, you know, you're going to get there, but you're like, you know, and for some of you, you're absolutely on the right track. And this isn't to confuse you or fuck you up. Okay. This is real. Some of you are receiving what you need. You're, you're in a progression and you feel good about it. You can feel that you're arriving. You can feel that you're getting close to the station ooh, ooh, and you're like, holy shit, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. And you know, you're moving on but you still have some closure issues. So whatever stage you're in right now, it's okay. Just remember that when it's time, you got to get back into focus, you know, because there's one thing when we're watching and we're observing, and then there's another when we're hiding and we're lurking. And that's no good. Who wants to be a lurker? You know what I mean? Like, it's like lurkers are kind of creepy and I'm not calling you or me creepy. We've all lurked, but it is kind of a creepy energy, isn't it? Because it's a coveting energy. Looking at what other people have, even if you're happy for them, even if you are genuinely happy for them, the fact that you're still like praising and applauding others, but not going after your own happiness and praising yourself or doing what you want to do or what makes you happy. You're not receiving what you need. And for some of you, you're just barely getting by. And you've literally gaslighted yourself into believing that that's enough. But now you're waking up even further, right? And you're like, mm, this isn't enough. I need more than this shit. I, I need more than this. 
We are all exactly where we're meant to be. You don't need to lurk in the shadows or wear sunglasses to protect yourself or to hide who you are. You're a burning bright light, dream star. I mean, star dreams. And what's going on in your dreams? Everybody's got a dream. What's your dream, pretty woman? Right? So what have you been dreaming about? I, I actually said to spirit because um, my dreams and my, and my actual traveling, like everything shifts all the time. And then like, anyway, I go through so many portals and loops and holes and dimensions and <laughs> it's awesome. But I also feel like I need a break. Um, but you know, it was really interesting because recently I have been having these dreams where I'm like a detective, 25, 22 like a spiritual detective. It's been super fun. And so I woke up today and I'm like, oh, is that my new job? Should I be a spiritual detective? I'm like, I'd be so good at that because we've been obsessing on this show called Republic of Doyle. I'm in love with it. We've like literally binge watched it. We're on the last season. There's like 10 episodes a season or something. I think one season had like 16, but they're mostly around 10 or 12. Um, here's me. I'm always trying to justify my binge watching behavior, but we will. My husband and I, we, we just we're like dogs of the bone. We'll just like watch a series until it runs out or we'll stop watching the last season because we want to save it. <laughs> you know, and then Spirit's like, no, you're supposed to, that's the whole point. Just like be done with it. Bye-bye. Um, but anyway, there it's a family of detectives and Alder and I are really good at that and Bubba too. So sometimes the three of us when we're together, I'm like, dude, I'm like, we should like have our own detective agency. <laughs> But maybe that's a message for you. You know, it's, it may sound absurd, but it's not. Why is that absurd? And they don't use guns. Like, it's really cool. It's really interesting. Or they try not to. Sometimes they have to. Um, but, you know, they have to defend themselves. But they are good fighters. You know, like, they just, they do everything by hand. And um, so maybe you're, like, thinking about doing something. I don't know. I feel like you guys need, oh, my gosh. I, I feel like you guys need some more cards. Let me see. Okay. These cards just kind of, like, came apart. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you saying? Okay, so we have some energies and entities that want to come through. I feel like, okay, for now we're at the end of this portion of the reading. And whomever this is, they are really impatient. So I'm going to ask them to please calm down. Let's take in some deep breaths. Close our eyes if we're in a place where we can do so. Let's get in touch with our higher selves and each other. I know it's a lot of information taken at once, a lot at you at 26 minutes. It was like when I closed my eyes. So do we have any other energies or entities that are in the greatest and highest good of reading three that would like to come through with any messages? Okay, I'm feeling you. Dr. Craig or Greg, I don't know what that means. Um, I am going to tell you that this doesn't happen very often, but I'm just going to let you know that, um, whoever this person is, they are like stuck. And you know what? With light and love spirit, I call upon the healing energies of the universe to please heal this beautiful energy entity, whomever they are. You are free spirit. You are not stuck here. You are free. Yes. I felt, um, this feels like somebody who was a doctor or, okay, so this is somebody who's passed on. This is going to be really uncomfortable for some of you, so I'm putting out a little um, warning. If you know the name or whatever, or whatever, if this means something to you, then you're going to understand it already. Or Craig T. or like Craig T. Nelson. Like I think like it could be like those names or it could be the actor Craig T. Nelson that he looks like this actor. I don't know. Maybe he's passed since I've last seen the news. I'm not sure, but I'm getting Craig T. Nelson. He was the dad from the first Poltergeist movie, if that helps you. And um, that show Coach. So there's something going on there. It could be a coach. It could be when they're, when they're like doing this, it's breadcrumbs. It's like, they're like, yes, yes, keep coming, keep coming. So it could be for more than one of you, but there's definitely something there buried underneath is why you're not coming to the surface or why you're not feeling like, um, it's something that needs to be healed from a molestation, a rape. Um, I'm not saying it like it doesn't matter. I'm saying it matter of fact, so we can move forward. Um, I've been through both, so I, you know, understand my own situation and I can only see they're not showing me anything but the fact that it was somebody that you trusted, a doctor, could be a preacher, could be a coach, um, could be a, a, fem, a feminine, but it feels very, very masculine. So even if it was a woman, it was done very harshly and in a masculine way, maybe um, it, 
you know, maybe they were feminine. And so there's something going on with the, it just, it's just uncomfortable. I just feel an uncomfortable energy for everybody. I know this is tough to hear, but I'm also hearing from spirit that, um, you really need to work on this because it is the one thing that's holding you back. And you have to remember that it's a lesson that you gave yourself, right? If you are here, it means that you are also in the mindset at this level of our consciousness and the belief system that we wrote our own story before we came here to have different experiences. So they want you to rise above it in your spiritual sense, in your dream star, in your dream state. Make peace with this character, this energy, these people. Um, that's why when it came through, it felt really gross. It felt like a really creepy, like creepy, creepy, like in it. You know, and for, and one in particular, like it felt very seventies, like they're like their pants, like look like golf pants and like this, like, like, you know, like a pattern on the pants and like this maroon sweater and like older and not, I can't tell if they look like this cause they're dead, you know, or if like, that's what they look like, but they kind of remind me they're just kind of thin and whatever, but they had power. And so I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that you went through that. I really do feel for you on every level possible the only way that you will heal though is is to get through it there's 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 no other way there's no other way um you you need to face it and if that means getting um help then there is no shame in reaching out for help and there's no shame in getting help through your community and um you know i do trauma healing like that so if you when you're ready you can reach out to me my email is in the about section there's tabs here if uh, my my one friend recently told me she didn't even know about the short section I'm like yeah those tabs on top you know and so there's tabs on top and uh, you can look in the about section and my email is there magical medium at gmail.com and I will be happy to hold space for you and go through that. And if I am not the right person for you, will you please reach out to someone that is? And in meditation, in prayer, ask spirit who the right person would be to help you work through that. Because it's really vital, 3143, for your healing growth and um, process, okay? And um, also, like I said, I feel like by October 13th, 2023, there's just going to be there's just going to be a lot new earth is just paving the way for the healing my i can feel i feel you guys i love you so much spirit love you so much and i'm going to send you some healing energy right now and also are there any other energies or entities all you have to do is just take in some deep breaths close your eyes where it's safe you can still do it with your eyes open and you just say, I accept this healing energy from the universe. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, healing energies. Thank you for healing us from the inside out and the outside in. Our souls, our avatars, our blood and bone, our auric fields. Thank you for balancing our chakras. I'm hearing also to make sure you do more smudgings and clearings, bells. If you don't like burning things, you can use bells. Bells are one of, there's so many different ways to cleanse and clear your space. But I'm hearing that that's why you need to cleanse and clear your space. For some of you, you won't even recognize yourself once you get away from these energies. You won't even recognize yourself because you're going to be so powerful. They won't recognize you either. And that's the whole point, right? Especially some of us that are held down by those that want to keep us down. When we're receiving what we need, we are progressing. It's easy for us to move forward. We're moving on. The closure issues are just about attachment. But you know what? We're in the Taurus moon energy right now. Even though we're in Gemini, we're in the Taurus. And in real time, I'm doing this in the waning Gibeous energy. And for those of you who aren't familiar, um, I would check out my moon readings, but that's the sixth moon phase and it's about reflect and release. And it's time for you to reflect and release and also look out for that waning Gibeus reading because I've got a big announcement to make and just a lot of cool things are coming down the pipeline. And so um, I'm excited to share them with you and I will do them, do that more intimately um, in that reading. But you know, if we, if we stay in this, and we're just watchers and stalkers and lookers. It's, it fades our perception. See how it won't even go into focus? My camera has been doing this. I don't know. But I'm, I'm, well, it's spirit. I know it's spirit. But it's because it's like we're not focusing. We got to pull it out to see the big picture. You get what I'm saying, right? You get what I'm saying? 
but when you put it back here, you can see it. From far away, you see the big picture. And then you get excited, right? Because now the sunglasses are leaning into the boat and the boat is leaning into the sunglasses because now they're moving forward and the future's so bright they gotta wear shades, right? And that's you. Your future is so bright you gotta wear shades, but I am telling you, use this Jupiter and Taurus energy to revive you and bring you to a place of peace and happiness and joyfulness. Clean slate, clean slate, brand new, brand new. This is your time. Let your light shine. Let your light lead the way for you. It's your interpretation of the goddess, of the divine feminine, of the God, the divine masculine. You are the creator. You are both. You were blessed with everything that our creator has. We don't know where we begin or where we end or why we're here or what. You know, I mean, we can all speculate and have our own vibes and feelings, but we are also human here. So even in spirit, in human bodied, we are light beings having a very tangible human experience, but this isn't quote unquote real. It's only the world that's real that we make it. It's time for you to create your own world. What does it look like? Who are you there? Who do you want to be? And if you don't know, spend some time getting to know yourself in meditation and quiet walks through the forest and nature, a walk on the beach. Maybe you're the opposite. Maybe you need a little city time because there's nothing more fun than walking through a vibrant city and seeing the lights and the people and the noises. But I know as an empath, whoo, I can only handle so much, but I do enjoy it. But I make sure that before I do that, I'm grounded. I make sure that I'm meditated, that I'm, you know, wearing my protection things that make me feel protected, even though I technically don't need them. You know, um, putting on my regalia to go out into the world and show the world who I am. And then I like to go back home and reminisce about that fun day and all the beautiful energies and entities I got to experience and meet that day. The beautiful souls who crossed my path. Maybe we crossed paths and didn't even know it in one lifetime or another. I'm happy to walk with you, beside you, in front of you, and back you, underneath you, whatever you need to lead the way, to hold you up, to be there. We're all there for each other. And I can't help but see an animal here. It looks like a crocodile or an alligator. As old as time, we are as old as time. I believe that's it, my friends. Do we have any more messages? Do we have any more energies or entities that would like to... Oh, um, I heard Aunt Ruth and Grandma Ruth. So it must be one for the other. And they were just like, hi, hi. And yes, they're always looking out for you. They're always watching over you. And um, they they see the things you leave for them. They see, uh, they hear the prayers that you say for them. Or when you see a butterfly or when you see something, whatever it is for you, you know, like they see you. This is like a blanket ancestral, but I feel like it's coming from the divine feminine of Ruth. All right. Anything else? Oh gosh, my door just shut. shut so I'm going to take that as a no. All right, you guys, we love you so much. Until next time, take really good care of yourselves and each other. Blessed be. Oh, bye.